So I've been to Dollar Tree, I did a whole shop with me and showed you all the new things that are in the stores right now. But of course, I found a couple of new things that I had to try, and so today we're doing a Dollar Tree toy test. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. You know how we do around here. We get things at the Dollar Tree and wanna test them out to see if they work. See if they're worth your dollar or if you should just pass on them. Of course, everyone has different experiences with this. Sometimes you guys love things that I don't like and vice versa, so if you have a different opinion, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'd like to hear your experiences with what we're testing out today. And because I do these Dollar Tree toy tests quite often, I also have a playlist that you can check out with past toy tests and you can see all the things that are still in stores now and whether or not they were a thumbs up or a thumbs down. This toy test has a lot in it, you guys, so stick around to the end because I'm gonna cover quite a few different variety of things. First off are these new puzzles. These were a variety of, I think maybe four different, five different styles. This one is the farm animal ones, and then we have the alphabet letters. And what I'm looking for on this one is the quality because sometimes the quality on these Dollar Tree puzzles isn't the best. And before you buy it, I wanted to just kind of open one up to get a sense of how they are. They feel like they're like on a chipboard wooden backing on a very heavy wood and they're saying ages two and up on this one so you see it's kind of like a like that cheap plywood right and then the letters one it says it's for ages four and up now the thing about the puzzles is is they usually at the Dollar Tree are cardboard like a really heavy thick cardboard and these are better than that right off the bat I can already tell you so let me kind of take them out they're on that they're oh yeah they're on a little plywood piece itself. So the picture is put on the plywood. So that's great. They fit in here really nicely. Are they easy to get out? Yeah, they're pretty easy to get out and put in. Usually a puzzle's for two years of age. You have the little knobs on them because it's much easier for them to get it out. I can definitely see how a two-year-old would get frustrated with this puzzle. So it might be more beneficial for a three-year-old, four-year-old, but maybe too easy for a four-year-old. But that's just one thing that I noticed because they really like those pegs to put them in. As you get older and you're learning the alphabet, we have this one and this is great. I like that they fit in really nicely. The only thing I don't like is if you look at the letters, the colors kind of come off the letters because that's a little visually hard to distinguish the letter. I mean, we can as adults because we're used to seeing that. So that's probably my only gripe is that the letters aren't just like a solid shape with the letter. They got this kind of background color on it that's just kind of hard to tell the shape. If you need a budget puzzle, this would definitely work. It's just not the best because of the way that the letters are on here. They have kind of like a drop shadow on them. So I would say definitely for the quality and for being a dollar, these are a thumbs up. I just think they could do a little bit better on the drop shadows here for the older puzzle and then maybe pegs for this younger puzzle. But all in all, it's a really good value and the material is much better than the cardboard ones they used to make. Next up, we have this light up top. I actually saw this at a couple different stores. It's for ages three and up. So I know it's kind of available at several different places. It also comes in different colors. So if you don't like the yellow one that I got, I think they had blue and maybe a red, but it's supposed to light up while you play it. So I give this one to my kids to give it a shot. Here it is in action. This one worked really, really well. My kids were entertained about it. It's a great sensorial item, especially if you have kids who are sensory seekers looking for that light up action. And they had a lot of fun with it. This one is definitely going to be a keeper. We're giving it a thumbs up. Moving right along, we have the Wood Shop Wooden Wind Chime Kit. Now this is a brand new item I think to Dollar Tree I could be wrong they had a couple different styles in the wind chimes we got the rocket one to give that a shot so it comes with what you need to assemble and make your own rocket ship wind chime so there's printed wood pieces inside that have the patterns on them you have some white string a wooden bead some paints to decorate a couple of chimes paintbrush and then the instructions what you do is you paint all the wooden pieces of the wind chime and then you let it dry and then after it's dry you attach the string and put all of the wooden pieces pieces together and the chimes together and then you're ready to go. I have been a big fan of the wood shop kits in the past. In fact, they've passed and, get, and have been given thumbs up for a couple of the wood shop kits that we have tried. So for our first time on the wind chime, I was expecting this to be pretty good and I actually think it's a great little summer project. It's for ages five and up. So if you have a child that is five, you're probably gonna have to assist them a little bit in assembling it all together. If you have an older child all the way up to the age of 10, they're probably gonna be able to complete this project on their own. I really like how it turned out and it was a great summer project. So we're gonna give this one a thumbs up. We have two sets of markers from Ink and as we get closer to back to school, we're gonna be seeing a lot of new things in that back to school section. The first one is the dual tipped marker. So there's two tips on here and it says it makes 3D effects. And then the second one we're gonna try are the metallic markers and these are just a really pretty fine tip marker. This one is supposed to be able to write on black paper and then it also came in 
I think two different sets of colors. I have the blue and purple, and I think I saw, was it a red and silver? I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments if you remember the other colors they have. So let's try these dual tip ones first. I don't know if you can see this very well, but the tip actually has two tips to it. One is blue and orange, and the other is green and blue. So let's try this out. All right, those are kind of fun. Now, depending on how you hold the pen, kind of like it would a calligraphy pen, it's gonna have a different effect on it. So you can see the two colors. Sometimes the colors bled together, but some of them were separate. And I think it's much better when it is handwriting versus cursive, but I think these actually work. They're kind of fun something different, right? So let's give these a thumbs up. Then we have some black paper and we're gonna try our metallic markers. I think these are great for crafting or special projects. So we have our purple and then we have our blue. Wow. Okay, yeah, these are really good. Okay, I can tell you right away that these are a thumbs up. The way they work, the ink is flowing, is just like a marker. Very impressed with these, especially that's working on the dark color paper. If you're doing crafting, you're doing cards, that kind of thing, these are gonna be fabulous. Definitely get these, really, really like these, and they flow very well, so thumbs up. Then we have some art kits, and I saw quite a few of these, and I talked about them in my Shop With Me video. So I have the Faux Stained Glass Kit, which is paint and display your own own bottle. This is for ages six and up. We have a button bag craft kit and that one is also for six years age and older. And then this gem art kit, once again, for six years of age or older. This one's gonna be very similar to diamond painting. So the faux stained glass kit, this one comes with one plastic bottle, three window paints and the instructions. So it's very easy to do. You just color in using the window paints, kind of like the sun catcher paints, and then you let it dry. The bottle itself was pretty small compared to what you would think was inside the box, but it definitely was an interesting craft to do. It was very easy and maybe would take you know 15 minutes or so at most if you needed a really quick craft i don't think that it's worth a dollar however i think that if it's going to be worth a dollar you'd get a lot more to it so i'm going to give this one a thumbs down because of that it turned out okay but i just expected a little bit more out of this craft kit maybe a couple of bottles or maybe a couple more paint colors the button bag craft kit comes with one bag one needle, we have the thread and all of the buttons, and then there's two shaped fabrics with instructions included. So this one was a little bit more involved than I originally thought it would be. So you're actually sewing on the felt and you're sewing on the buttons. The bag itself is pretty small, but you could put a couple of cute trinkets inside of there, maybe a little coin purse if you wanted to. So it has more of a use after you're done crafting it. This is a great beginning sewing craft, especially for those kids who are just learning how to make a stitch. So I think that this one actually is better than I expected. And plus I like that it has a purpose after you're done with it. So I wanna give this one a thumbs up. Gem art kit comes with a paper card. There's two paper stands, a gems tray, a gem pen, some wax, a glue square, and then five bags of round gems plus the instructions. Now we're very familiar with diamond painting in my house. In fact, diamond painting is something we do all the time. So we're kind of used to the bigger kits. However, this one did really appeal to my daughter because it's smaller and it's a cat on the front. So if you are not familiar with diamond painting, then this might be a good thing to try first before you invest in some of the larger kits that you can find at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby. So there's one easel that you have and then the gems use a special wax that you pick up with the pen. Once you insert the wax inside the pen, you take the pen and it adheres to the gem that's in the tray. Then you place it onto your little canvas. Now the canvas itself has an adhesive on it and that's how all of the gems stay onto it. Usually canvases have a little diagram of where to place the gems. This one did not. That's what makes it a little bit different from the diamond painting that we're using to. However, I will have to say the quality of the materials were pretty decent considering that this kit was only a dollar. So I'd say for a summer craft, this is going to keep your child pretty busy and occupied for probably a good while, maybe an hour or more if they did it all the way straight through. So this one in comparison to the larger diamond painting kits is definitely a bargain and a really great summertime craft. We're going to give this one a huge thumbs up. Next up we have the Da Vinci kit. This is from Play-Doh and I saw this in so many Dollar Trees these past couple of weeks and they all have the same colors, that same green and blue inside of them. Plus they have the applicator. This is recommended from ages six and up and it's to make some art creations. If you end up liking this, they also tell you on the back here that they have different kits that you can probably find in Target. So with this little kit, you can draw on paper, on canvas, on cardboard, glass, and more. And they claim 
that is really easy to use and has fast cleanup. So here's our little tool here. And we have the two compounds and the two different colors. And then they also give us a card that has a little hot air balloon on it. There's a little instruction booklet that tells you all the different kinds of lines that you can create with this and then how to actually use it. So it says that we screw off the cap and we load it into our little device. We squeeze and draw. So let's try that. So it's all set up and all I have to do is squeeze it to draw. I'm gonna draw on my hot air balloon here. Wow, that was really easy. It comes out super smooth to make my lines on here. And I guess you can do different colors. You can do different designs. Let me try doing a little bit more here. I'm trying to turn it to the side so you can see it as I'm doing it. If you squeeze harder, more comes out too. Kind of reminds me, remember that yard that I showed you, the drawing with yarn? That's what it reminds me of, but with this. But this is like a little sticky compound, not exactly paint, not exactly dough. And it says that you can can also, if you mess up, wipe it off and start over. So it's supposed to dry or set and then actually be on your picture. So you can draw on all kinds of different things and have kind of a 3D art. So if you look at it, it actually pops right off the page to make it have that 3D effect. So this is a lot of fun. And because you get to try it out for a dollar, I know you get limited colors, which is kind of disappointing, but for a dollar to have a little set and to try and to do before you invest in the fuller size product, I'd have to say that this is a thumbs up. I know I have a lot of thumbs up in this video, but this is pretty cool. I, I do think that you're probably going to run out of the compound pretty quick because it, it's pretty thick when it comes out but it is kind of entertaining and fun to create some designs even if you're making your own designs on like a card or something so very cool i love that this is a dollar tree one dollar thumbs up if you'd like to see more Dollar Tree toy test videos because I have a whole playlist, I'm gonna put them up here on the screen so you can go check them out next. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.